cleaning up trash. I've actually done uh, trash cleanups with her. Um, and she, you know, is really into, ah, oh, the bees. Oh, come on. Good morning, guys. So sometimes the beach clean weather gods smile upon you and you get a break in what are otherwise pretty rotten conditions outside today. We had uh, thunderstorms earlier and we're supposed to have thunderstorms as evident by uh, some of these dark clouds perhaps a little bit later on this afternoon, but we have a uh, several hour gap where uh, hopefully no thunderstorms. Uh, and so as such, I wanted to just head on down to my local beach and do a sort of challenge that I've been wanting to for a while, which is to just see how many face masks I can collect. Um, you know, you, I find these intermittently all the time. Some days I'll find half a dozen, other days I'll find none at all. So I'm gonna take a few hours to just do some good walking up and down, you know, this, this local beach. And in addition to the regular trash, I'll, you know, definitely find as normal and pick up, um, see how many face masks we can come up with. So uh, I have a lot more to say about why and where and how those collect as well as, you know, sort of what you can do to, uh, you know, do your part in mitigating the effects of these face masks on the environment. But yeah, let's uh, take a stroll, see how many masks we can find and get trashed along the way. All right, well, the great face mask hunt is complete and I am exhausted. I probably covered about six miles and anybody who's done beach cleaning, you will know that six miles on the beach is not like six miles on pavement. So I'm pretty exhausted. As I mentioned earlier, it is humid out here today. Uh, luckily, you know, there's been nice cloud cover, so it hasn't been too hot, but the humidity just sucks the energy out of you. So just a reminder for everybody beach cleaning any time of year. Make sure you bring lots of water. Sorry, the flies are out in full force. Um, because I went through like three of these things. Uh, you know, luckily I have extra, but uh, yeah, even just, you know, going a few miles, uh, you can overheat. So anyways, this is why I'm delirious and rambling more so than usual. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you the final mass count. Um, and here's what we have quite the display of uh, masks. And again, you know, it, it was so funny because this took about three hours to collect. And, you know, sometimes, some days I can find this many masks in 20 minutes and then other days I don't find any. And that's sort of how this type of beach trash goes. There's so much other types of trash around here. Bottles, cans, stuff left over from the summer, fresh stuff that's run off from, uh, we had rain this morning. Uh, through storm drains and that sort of stuff. So I could have probably filled about, you know, 50 of these little bags easy 
uh, with all types of other trash uh, around me right now. But you know, I think it's interesting and worthwhile to look at you know some of these more specific types. And you know, like I said earlier, why these are bad. I mean, obviously there's uh, plastics involved in the manufacturing and producing of many of these masks. But you may have heard as well that seagulls and other creatures have been getting their uh, legs tangled in these uh, these loops. And I know a lot of friends of mine who are also beach cleaners or marine science type people, you know, they've been talking about that a lot as an issue. So, you know, a lot of these little things, it's like, okay, well, you know, how big of a deal is it? Well, when it's all sort of packed together, it's, it's a big deal. You know, it adds up, uh, you know, causing all of these harmful effects. So, yeah, I thought it was really interesting just to do a mask clean like this today. And, um, you know, there's many more to come, unfortunately, in terms of masks, but other beach uh, trash treasures as well. And, uh, you know, in terms of the masks themselves, uh, you know, I, I think every type of plastic ocean pollution uh, and just ocean pollution in general has to be approached and addressed in different ways. Um, you know, single use plastics obviously are, are one form of ocean plastic pollution, right? Uh, so that's something that needs to be talked about in terms of how to deal with that and, you know, what more can be done to mitigate that issue. And in terms of masks, well, what can you do about masks, right? Well, obviously you can try to reuse yours. You know, the old uh, R's, right? Reuse, reduce, recycle, whatever the order is, I don't know. Um, but uh, th friends have also been telling me to cut the loops um, before you discard your masks. And the reason why they say that is because then they can't get caught on, you know, birds' legs and that sort of thing. So... You know, little things like that can certainly make a difference as I get attacked uh, by more bugs. Um, yeah, and, you know, again, just be aware that this stuff is out there and, you know, pick it up when you see it. Um, yeah, I had more that I wanted to say, but I'm <laughs> really overheating out here, honestly. You know, I, I, I'm a hiker myself. Um, I, you know, I've hiked everywhere, you know, from, you know, the east coast of you know, the United States to out in the Rocky Mountains up to 12,000 feet, the Pacific Northwest, uh, you know, all sorts of places. But, uh, you know, something about the humidity and uh, the, the sand that's hard to walk on, harder to walk on, man, it just saps you of energy. So I'm going to uh, finish babbling, <laughs> you know, now and uh, leave it up to you guys to, uh, you know, share your own experiences finding and collecting masks, you know. I've been really excited actually the last uh since the last video we've gained almost like a dozen subscribers i think which is really cool really exciting um and a ton more views i think uh we, we have one video that got like 100 views over this last like several days so yeah it's really you know it's so cool to see people just sharing you know their experiences and my experiences and you know commenting on what they've noticed as well um so that's really you know again it's it's small steps but it's it's encouraging and it's it's hopeful so I, i've been really pleased about that um and so i would say you know if you like this video please do subscribe uh please do share it with others who you think might find it interesting because again uh you know just the conversations i've had with people who you know have been watching my videos has been really inspiring and and really cool to see uh you know their their own experiences and you know learning from them too so i think that's what it's all about ultimately that's the professor in me I suppose, uh, but it's, it's true, I think. Um, and I wanted to give a shout out to uh, L.I. Beachcomber, who is a friend of mine on Instagram, a uh, beachcomber who, you know, talking over the past, I don't know, year or so, um, I know she's gotten into cleaning up trash. I've actually done uh, trash cleanups with her. Um, and she, you know, is really into, ah, the bees. Sorry about that, I had to cut because I was uh, just attacked by a bunch of bees, which is always fun. So uh, I might have to deal with a little more wind and waves right now, but I'll try to speak up. Hopefully the bees don't like co to come down to the water so much and uh, I'm not looking to tango with them. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was just wrapping up uh, regardless. Uh, and as I was saying, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, LA Beachcomber, who I've done um, beach cleans before with. And, uh, you know, she's posting so much interesting stuff in terms of, you know, beach clean finds that she's been, uh, you know, uh, coming across on Instagram. Um, so shout out to her. Check out her Instagram. And she was actually the one that sort of inspired me to do this mask clean because she was posting a bunch of masks that she found uh, just the other day. So, um, yeah, uh, I also wanted to mention as well that uh, as of when this video will post, I will have offered a uh, mask 
guessing challenge for how many masks I have here. I think it's 13 total. So if you guessed closest without going over on my Instagram, then uh, you will be linked in the video description. So uh, check there for whoever won the guessing competition. Um, I'm sure that there will be at least a few entries based on, again, people I know who uh, do a lot of beach cleaning on Instagram or post their beach cleaning on Instagram rather. So uh, check out the description for a uh, link to their Instagram profile for the winner of, you know, whoever guessed closest without going over. So uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Thanks so much as always for watching. Like I said, please uh, like and share and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, really enjoying just uh, bringing you guys some of these adventures. So. Uh, stay safe out there. As always, you know, follow all CDC guidelines and health and safety protocols. You know, I've had gloves, sanitizer. I've been dunking these in the ocean. Uh, so they, they are, you know, relatively uh, clean. You know, some of the older ones, you can kind of assume that I plucked out from the ground. They're probably relatively safe, but there's certainly some newer ones that might have been just dropped a couple days ago. So, you know, if you feel uncomfortable picking stuff up, there's always trash around the corner, unfortunately. So don't you know, do anything that you're not comfortable um, doing. Um, so again, I'll link some, some CDC links uh, in the description as well. But other than that, thanks again for joining and uh, hope to see you on the beach soon. Thanks.